Welcome to episode 72 of the Clarity Compressed podcast. My name is Paul, my name is still Paul J. Daly. I will be your host today, and today we're gonna to talk about sharpening the ax. Clarity can only really exist in the light of truth. Branding just isn't a tactic. It's a lifestyle change. So we're gonna keep the podcast short and sweet today. I'm leaving for vacation for a week to refresh with my family. And if you know anything about taking a vacation, the week before vacation is by far the most productive week you will ever have. So I'm just gonna take a vacation every other week and figure that my productivity will be about the same. No, but really, isn't it ridiculous how much you get done when you know you're about to take a break? Like it's really a refresher on like how I should be managing my time and managing my priorities for the rest of my life forever, but I know that's not gonna happen, so why lie to myself? Today, I wanna to talk about, you know, I've been, a post has been hitting on LinkedIn a lot, talking about it's okay to take a break, so it's really applicable that I'm about to take a break, because I've been thinking, there's so much stuff in, in congruent, my, my agency, and with the personal brand, and the speaking, and the events, there's so many things that are starting to fall into place, and I think that six months from now, 12 months from now, we're gonna look back from to this time and realize, wow, everything really started falling over in that time period. And we're just about at the one year mark from when my first business, Image Auto, was acquired by Dent Wizard International. So really this last year has been grinding my face off in startup mode, again, right? All the content that I put out and building an agency from almost the ground up new people on the team, new services, new offerings, new packages, a lot of travel, like it's been a year of just grinding. And what that does is remind me of a post that I had a couple years ago where I talked about swinging the ax and the principle of like, as you try to chop down a tree, I tried to chop down a tree or I did chop down a tree with an ax before. If you haven't ever done that, you should try it because it's gonna really drive home this lesson. That tree is incredibly, incredibly strong because you're swinging away with the ax and you're sweating and you're tired and you know you get half of the way, two thirds of the way, three quarters of the way through that tree and the freaking tree doesn't even move. Like it feels as strong as it was when it was completely full. So you keep swinging and swinging and eventually, eventually you hit that one swing and that one swing you hear the tree crack and then from that point, you can push the tree over and it falls. And that's just reminding me of the season that I'm in right now. And it's kind of the encouragement I wanna to give to you, keep swinging the ax because you don't know when the tree's gonna fall. Now, put that in one box. The other box is making sure the ax is sharp. I don't remember, we'll probably, Dylan or Patrick, you can fact check this or find out who said it, but it said if I had three hours to cut down a tree, and it's probably not three hours, if I, an hour, if I had an hour to cut down a tree, I'd spend 50 minutes sharpening the ax, or it's probably sharpening the saw. Whatever it is, you have to sharpen the blade. And this week of vacation, the LinkedIn post, post, it's okay to take a break. If you are worn out, burnt out, and not refreshed, your efficiency goes down, your irritability goes up, you sometimes do more damage than good, but you convince yourself that you have to keep going. So all that comes together in this podcast. It's okay to take a break. You have to keep swinging the ax, but if you're gonna swing the ax, take the time to make sure that it's sharp. Get it? They all do work together. So that's why I'm about to leave for vacation, sharpen the ax, that's why I'm keeping this podcast really short because I gotta go. And I hope that, well, when you see this podcast, I will just have gotten back. So I'll be able to tell you on my Instagram and LinkedIn how it went. And you're gonna see a renewed fire and a renewed energy. I know you might think I'm kind of high energy anyway, but mentally, um, emotionally speaking, planning on being very refreshed and bringing you as much value as I can and hopefully as many of you along for the ride as possible. So I'm so thankful that you give any of your time to this podcast, any of the content that I create, um, any of the DMs, I um, mean, just the general interactions, like let's go on the trip together. I hope you can siphon some energy from this. I hope you contribute some energy back to me, back to the community around you, so that we can start making meaningful, or keep making meaningful progress and cut down some of those trees. So I hope you have a great time. Thanks for watching. Thank you for listening. And uh, have a credible week. Bye. I'm going on vacation. <laughs>